I don't know what's going on. We went top of the table in the last episode after our 2-1 win against Perugia. We've now pushed ourselves further ahead in the table. I don't know what is going on because this is definitely not the priority that you know of and this is definitely not the person that I know I am. I mean, that's that's awfully confusing. Should we just get on with the episode? In the last episode, we displaced Perugia at the top of the table after beating them 2-1 at home in a top two clash. And after that, I thought to myself, how much more wins can we get? Because at the moment, I just don't seem like I'm going to lose. I mean, imagine a world where Proudy and not losing go in the same sentence. It very rarely happens. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. The recent results after that Perugia game have been incredible. We are currently on a winning streak of five games, which included a 4-0 thrashing of Spal, you know, the team we got relegated with last season, which was an incredible result. And that winning streak has actually propelled us even further ahead in the title race as we now sit six points clear of uh, closest challengers Perugia. I mean, I'm only setting myself up to bottle it now, aren't I? You know, there's always that old saying that you should take a picture of it because it'll last longer. And that's exactly what I did. We are top of the league. How many more times do I have to say in this episode? I mean, I'm delighted. But I mean, we're not even focusing on the league in this episode, so that kind of sucks. Patrick Catrone also won player of the week once again and then a few weeks later he won it yet again I mean the guy has won it four times in the last six weeks Is there anyone else who's gonna actually try in this league anymore? I wonder if you thought that was the only award Patrick Catrone managed to win He also won goal of the month for his top corner finish against Perugia, you know in the last episode I mean we might as well rename this league to Syria Catrone because he is the best player by far in the world Alright, let's not go that far. I mean, he's not better than Sordolino yet. In one of my pre-match press conferences, the media posed a question to me, asking whether I was losing the support of my players. I mean, have they seen the league table? How can I be losing the support of my players when we're winning games and we're top of the league by six points? I feel like Arsene Wenger in a way because I've been offered a two-year contract after doing absolutely nothing at the club and probably the players don't support my ideas. But we are top of the league, so probably not like Arsene Wenger then. Rafael Marquez has also told me that he's going to retire at the end of the season, only a year before his contract expires, which will save me 15 grand a week, thankfully. Uh, but he did tell me he was going into some pharmaceutical sort of drugs business. I, I'm not entirely sure on the details, but I'm sure we'll find out in the future. Amato Ciccinotti also broke the Serie B record for the fastest ever goal in the league. And I, I mean, I haven't seen a finish that quick since I was near a woman. So... Uh, at least he broke that record. But we now move into our game against Fiorentina away from home in the Italian Cup. And uh, with that in mind, I have picked a very strong team to play in this game. Uh, the team that we normally play in the league. Only because they thrashed us last season and I need to get revenge. Joseph Manola returns to the side to play alongside Raman Chibsa in the two central midfield positions. Lucas Evangelista has been pushed up to play as the number 10 with Cicciaretti and Mazakin playing either side of him. And of course Patrick Catrone who is on fire at the moment and is playing up front. i tell you what, I do love a cup match, I do. You know, Italian Cup, fourth round, qualifying rounds. It's a bit disappointing, it's a qualifying round in December. But we'll make do with what we got anyway. At least we've made it this far. I mean, actually, last year I didn't make it this far, so I've improved in that aspect. Oh, nice to see Fiorentino come really attacking uh, for this game. So have we, in some respects, but we might not win, but we will give it a go. That, that's all I can say. We, we will give it a go. I, I don't know really what else to say. Um, we can win? We can't win. We can win. We won't win. But we would win. We could win. Who knows if we'll win? No, it's not very full. I have to admit, like, it's a big team, Benevento. My Benevento, top of Serie B, by far. And not many fans have actually come to this game. It's, I'm not upset. I'm just, you know, why won't anyone watch my team? Now, this is the biggest game we've played so far. So, if we could get a win, I would be shocked. I don't know who we play in the next round anyway. Because they've drawn all the way to the semi-finals. So, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, but we are on the attack, which is a bit surprising. And Keane's in on goal. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, my goodness. What a start. What a start. And there's another highlight almost instantly. Oh, DTR. I mean, we are taking the game to Fiorentina. Keen. Keen across Catrone. It's 1 0. We're leading again. I've got this Benevento side playing like a football team. I'm not that shit in this game after all. But Patrick Catrone, who has just kept scoring over and over again, he scores again in the cup away at Fiorentina. Thank you very much. Just realised I didn't actually do any wordplay with Fiorentina. But the problem is, Fiorentina is one of those names where you can't actually do wordplay. Like, you could have that name Fiorentina Turner. 
Keane's just missed. I, I mean, I'm, I'm distracted there. Yeah, you could have the name Fiorentina Turner. I mean, that's a good five-a-side name. If you nick it, it's not mine, so I don't really care that much. We're actually beating a Serie A team. That didn't happen that much last season. Uh, we did lose to Fiorentina twice last year, so, I mean, this is an improvement already. I mean, we're making Fiorentina look like Fioran... I, oh, I can't even think of anything to say. Oh, Cicciaretti! Oh, Cicciaretti, it's a penalty! We got, oh, got a penalty away! I mean, I, how many more times did I say away at Fiorentina? I think everyone's got the point that we are away at Fiorentina. But Patrick Cotrone to make it 2-0. 2-0 it is. We're going through to the next round of the cup. I mean, it's only 30 minutes gone. Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But Patrick Cotrone, what a player. We're going to sign that boy next season. What a player. Mate, he's he's up there with Masima Koda. I mean, they have a similar name as well. Massimo Coda, Patrick Catrone. Sounds similar, if you say it slowly to yourself. And Fiorentina haven't even had a chance yet. They haven't had a shot on our goal. We're winning away again to a Serie A team. We might win this competition. We might win the double this year. I might have to do a friendly tournament so we can win the treble. I don't think they even know what's hit them. They don't know what's hit them. Benevento come into town. The boys are back in town. Oh, no, Fiorentina from goal. They're not going to score. Oh, we got we got the best goalkeeper in the league, mate. We got the best goalkeeper in the league. Under my tutelage, you know, a Sunday league standard goalkeeper. Patrick Catrone is injured. Our season's over. Oh, no. What's he got? A potential foot injury. Oh, he's out for the season. It's a disaster. We're going to send on Roberto. I don't like this. We've lost our star striker. But we're still 2-0 up. I mean, I'm going to keep saying it because it's, it's, it's amazing me more than it's amazing you. We're 2-0 up to a team in the division above us. In the league. No, not in the league. In the cup. I mean, we could go 3-0 up here. I mean, that would be stunning. We didn't even score three against the Serie A team last season. But Bertoni's won it! 3-0! We are going through. This is easy. 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 Easy, easy. Oh, but Roberto, who hasn't scored all season, finally gets his first goal of the season away. I mean, I'm going to stop saying that. I keep saying away at Fiorentina. I mean, everyone knows we're away at Fiorentina now. What a result. What a result this is. Oh, my goodness. I I'm making Benevento into the world's best team. And no one's going to stop me. It would be a bit annoying if they get a goal back here. Oh, yeah. They've hit the bar. Okay. I was like, I got away with that one there. They've hit the bar from about five yards out. That's it. That, you know, we're through to the next round. I don't know who we're playing in the next round, but we're through to the next round. What a result. We haven't conceded a goal in the cup yet this year. Oh, it's, it's stunning football. It's absolutely stunning football. 3-0 winners over Fiorentina into the next round of the cup. We're on our way to Wimb the Italian Wembley. That's where we're on our way to. K Sera Sera. Whatever will be, will be. We're off to the Italian Wembley. K Sera Sera. K Sera Sera. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. K Sera Sera. Thank you.